Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, before you buy video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the secret uh, bookcase stash box. So, uh, I'm going to buy it right now and display it. Let's go. Alright, so once you've bought the stash box, you will need to navigate to your building menu and then to the stash boxes section and uh, afterwards find your blue stash box, that's the original one, and I'll go all the way to the right until you find your uh, secret uh, shelf, stash, whatever. Now, I already did have some time to play around with it, uh, and there are a couple of things that, you know, well, okay, uh, but the thing is, that's how it looks like, right? If you saw my video on uh, when it first came out, I was hoping that it wouldn't be interactable like this is a stash. I, I was hoping that it would be like uh, a, a normal shelf, uh, shelf, until you f like click a button or something that would make it open. As you can see, there's a cinematic happening right now that the safe is opening. It's open, and only then I thought maybe if you click on the safe, you can actually get into the stash. That would be actually a pretty dope idea. Uh, if you move away from it, it closes down and returns back to its normal. Uh, condition uh, so what we got here let's go in the photo mode photo mode photo mode so you can see in a little bit more details there you go we got a skull over there some pit boy pig barrel a clock a red rocket candlestick <laughs> and a whole bunch of books but yeah I mean I still like the item don't get me wrong but I just uh, mentioned the thing that it would have been cooler because I mean it is a secret stash box right so you shouldn't be able to interact with it uh, until you push a button or something like if you had a button I don't know or if you click on that clock and BAM only then the save opens and only then you navigate your mouse to the save and only then you get the uh, the button uh, to access your stash that would be I think way cooler but anyway uh, as good as it is already, I mean, a different type of stash box, once again, with animation, if you move away, uh, it's, it's a cool, it's a cool stash box, uh, I like it. Although maybe I should have waited for a discount to get this one, not a full price. But anyway, I'm happy with the purchase, definitely will look good with some cam like modern building camps, you know, where you have a lot of cool modern furniture and stuff like that, so yeah, definitely. This is an item for the camp builders to might put on your must get list at some point or full price or wait for a discount, whichever comes. Uh, but anyway, this was a quick review of the uh, of that item. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can react to them. So if you got something positive or negative to say, feel free to comment. Just as I mentioned, just don't swear. Simple as that. And people will be able to read your comments and interact with them. Personally, myself, once again, I find this item to be pretty cool. So definitely, um, it might even actually gonna look good if I put it right in between of my Thanksgiving display shelves. Hmm. Gonna have to check it out how that looks. But anyway, once again, thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys lock it at, and I'll see you on the next uh, video. By the way, if you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. Just make sure to read the rules, because uh, if you don't and you break them, you most probably gonna get banned. So, you don't want that, that to happen, do you? We have a whole bunch of uh, chats over there. Uh, not only Fallout 76, but mainly Fallout 76. Trade chats, uh, daily ops chats, help chats, build chats, and so on and so forth. What you gotta do is just, once you join, read the rules. Go to uh, access to chats chat. Click the icons that you want to get access to which chats. Because we have a lot of chats chats <laughs> like Fallout 76 chats you click the Fallout 76 icon and you'll get access to the chats in order to get the training uh, trading chats you need to apply the Z sign you accept the rules and then only then but then you'll have another set of rules to read through anyway everything is in the description so uh, take a look at that and I'll see you on the next video bye from the